What's up guys, Son of Beast here. We're back for another NBA Eastern Conference Finals of the Bucks versus Sixers. We've seen before that the only player that was the New Balance player in the game was Seth Curry. The only guy that has never been on here to make a new part of the New Balance player in the game. He has never been out on here before, but this is what he has been showing up for this game that he has been doing so far over for a couple seasons here playing with the other team of Dallas Mavericks. But now he's currently playing for the Philadelphia Sixers and if he does make stay with his team then this is where he, where he belongs with his new team to make the play in history. But this is more of what they, they're going to make doing the history because they're making some new changes out there as a the statement in between those guys on their way. So, it looks like it's game five here in Philadelphia. There might be more underway here if we can get a chance to take a look at one of the players if there is another one. The Shoe Creator Challenge. Here are the winners. As we are, here's a look at the Shoe Creator Challenge here as we've seen one of them making some uh, comparison from this part. It's available, it's available right now, so if you want to do some shoe creator challenge, make sure you do it here. If you have a bonus part or the ultra part gold edition. But there might be more underway out there. This is what everyone was thinking about this one. So, it's time to bring it in to Philadelphia and find out if there's another one to take the courage. Starting off for the game five in Milwaukee Bucks. At uh, number zero, shooting guard, Dante DiVincenzo. At uh, center, number 11, Brooke Lopez. At uh, small forward position, number 22, Chris Riddleton. And point guard, number 21, Drew Holiday. And in point forward, number 34, 34 John Sandra Kumba. And your head coach, head coach for the Milwaukee Bucks, Mike Budenholzer. And now, hitting for the bell for Philadelphia 76ers is Joel M.B. to bring up your Philadelphia 76ers! Sorry, two guard, 63 bridges, number 31, Zach Curry! 
Sorry, this ball for position. This is for position. It's number 14, Eddie Gary. Sorry, point five position. Six feet three inches, number 25, and Timber! Timber! Out of the point four position. It's 638, number 12, Tobias Harris. And a small for center, there it is, number 21, Joel LaProcess Happy. Yeah, that coach for the 76er, Doc Rivers. Your lineups for game five of the 76ers. Turned out to be a great gaming at that point. Well, Sparta Center is about to make the crowd go wild. But all right, at this moment, we're about to see what they got in with this game. Here to start in lineups once more, we got a good player in between the Bucks and Sixers. Right now, the Sixers have made a first win here in Game 2 for home. And, in a way, they won the previous game against the Bucks at Milwaukee. Now they got one. Mike Brunholzer, second season with the Milwaukee. And Doc Rivers, first season with the 76ers. This is going to be his first one if he can try to be able to make his record in time, if there's a chance. Here we go, folks. Game 5 starts now as the Sixers win the tip-off. Let's see what happens here. There's more scoring points for him. Joel Embiid! First bucket of the night. This by Tobias Harris. Don't worry, I'll have the commentators turn back on if there's a chance for me to keep an eye on. Middleton in the paint. First bucket doesn't count in for uh, for Chris Middleton to score. For two on one, and being an open way, free ball, Joel B. Danny Green. That'll be his first assist here. Oh, good block on the Simmons. Oh, the drive. This one goes out to Giannis Antetokounmpo. This will be his first attempt. To take us to take the to take the dunk and make it a steal out there. What a bad start! As Giannis Antetokounmpo is saying, "Oh, who was that? What did I see? Where did I hit? feel something? I feel something coming at me." And Giannis Antetokounmpo snatches it with the ball. Well, only the first turnover here in a game one will be the Sixers. Danny Green. Driving the layup, and he will take it from here. Danny Green got a first bucket. A little bit of start over here for the first quarter. As Middleton will take it over. Middleton trying to work the way up. Brooke Lopez takes a takes the layup and hits the glass court as Chris Middleton takes the first assist in game five. MB picking up on the run of Simmons. Back over is MB. Rolling up. And taking a dry reversible layup with the first foul is called on Milwaukee. That will be Giannis Antetokounmpo's first personal foul. And shooting two at the free throw line, Joel Embiid. Only 5.09 to go here. Glad that you're joining us to the Olympics. We have gotten a great surprise for you. We got a good, good couple of gold medals that we saw before. Uh, Sydney McLaughlin, he made a world record for the women's 400 meter hurdles. What a great, what a great story to tell her that she be on a friendly rival in. And also, plus she's in New Jersey out there too. Thanks for that one for the heads up here, Jersey team. But it looks like America is putting a strong effort out there. We might be seeing some more gold medals if there's a chance for them. For Team USA to beat Australia if they win. If they don't, then they head to the bronze medal matchup to face against the winning team, I mean the losing team. Anakubo, he is striking him himself again. Immediately, he's got a second dunk here for the fifth game. Seth Curry in the corner. 
pass to uh, Simmons. Right over is Danny Green. Simmons back again. Curry taking the first three. Doesn't hit that one off as he only made four, four streaks for three pointers here in the previous game. But the first one for game five is going to be off the target at that point. On a Kubo on Middleton, I mean on Simmons. And good driving as Simmons was wanted up as Anakupo gets his second third bucket of the night. Curry has to Simmons right over to Bias Harris inside. It's taken away by Giannis Anakupo. Here's Middleton, Joel Embiid. Oh, he just went around it. Chris Middleton got a first dunk of it as Anakupo's got his first assist. Curry right to Green. In the paint, up it goes. A solid D here and a good one to pick up for Joel and B. Well, a nice put back here. We got a little got a little switch over here. We'll, we'll show one more time already. I think that's a great, great help on the offense. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks like Danny Green just made a bouncing, and then the put back was um excellent save. Well done for Joel and B to pick it up. Just a little bit short clip on the replay. I love the put back here. Nobody has done that before on our team. And the first foul calls on Tobias Harris. That'll be the first sixer foul on, on the first. Shooting two at the free throw line will be the Greek freak. On Giannis Adekubo. Shooting two. They're trying to look their way to uh, trying to stop Philadelphia on the run and want to take a second consecutive wins here in the Eastern Conference. He makes the first one. New changes are being made, made for the Sixers and of course there's a lot more to get things done. Matisse Feibel, D.Y. Howard, Jake Milton, and George Hill. Except for Ben Simmons as he switches over to point four. He makes the second one. And they have it up by one. George Hill in the corner right now, covered up by uh, Drew Holiday. He will s s s pass it along to Milton. Now it's Steve White Howard with the ball. Simmy, I mean, five ball right to Milton. Five ball up. Five ball missed the three. He has missed the first three pointer in his last game. Drew Holiday makes a two. They're up by three. Timeout on the Sixers with 3.09 to go. Bad, bad offensive look here for for the Sixers. And the defense is not, not doing good. Maybe there might need to be there might need to be a switch here to make it better. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get Ben Simmons on the pick and roll if he gets a chance to do it at the right timing. And now the Bucks are making some changes here. New changing up here as Ana Kupo moves to center and DiVincenzo is checked out. Forbes is already checked in at that moment. In the corner, Simmons on Forbes. Now the screen will hop him out. It's Dwight Howard. Here's a drive. And uh, put him up by two. Simmons got his first bucket in game five. Here's Hanna Kupo. He's reaching out his free free, but wants to determine if he can get another one. Nice D on D.Y. Howard as Ben Simmons gets a help from the rebound. Simmons, oh, he put up a dunk already. A little crash up there. He's okay. Middleton on five ball. Screen on Anakubo. Anakubo over five ball as he makes his first miss of a, of a shot. He made six of them, but he missed one. Howard right to Simmons. And here's Howard out, out on the outside. Five ball will take it from here. Six to go. Two minutes left. 
two minutes in the first period. With the two, Simmons. He doesn't make that one as he makes it makes another miss. Adakubo wanted to just trail him out of it. Howard against Girolade. Block the pass. Oh, almost kind of took it away already. Screen helping out is Bobby Portis. Rebounded up again. And a savior goes up by D.Y. Howard. He's got our first rebound. Three balls, shake, no time, no time. Drew Holiday against Hill. Shake Melton's got his first bucket. And we call the foul. That's on D.Y. Howard, his first, second team foul on the Sixers. Foul on the Sixers, I should say, the other way. Tyrese Maxey will help, uh, will, will make a check in after, uh, after the first shot made. Just only a minute and 12 to go here for the first period. A lot of good start out there for those two teams. But this is what the sudden showdown brings up between the Sixers and the Bucks. He makes the first one in, and now new players are coming in. P.J. Tucker and Connaughton will check in for Drew Holiday and Ana Kupo as four move over to point guard. And Milton Fievel Simmons is checked out as Tyrese Maxey's checked in, plus Korkmaz is checked in for Shake Milton. And, and Matisse Feibel switches over to point forward. So now a little change up here. Here's Korkmaz. Korkmaz to Feibel. Feibel to Hill. Last minute to go here in the first period. Howard outside. He's trying to squeak it in a bit. A little late, but that was very off. Middleton trying to make a drive. The first one and a second one goes in there from Chris Middleton. He's got two. Two hit, two points on that one. We'll go up by four. Maxi, what a great move out there. He's got his first bucket. Before being stepped out of bounds, this was a close call that turned out to be almost an in, inbound or out of bounds. Well play out there. Middleton, dunk it all. He's got a second dunk. They're still up by 20, still tied up. 20 to 20, like 2020 last year. But this is what we need to know who's going to take it off. Three up again. Rebounded by Bruce Middleton. Five to seconds to shoot. Middleton. Will he make the buzz beater? No, he did not have it all. That ends the first quarter with a run, 20 to 20. Great play on this on this clean game of the series, but we'll be right back after this one. Personally, I just want to get better. I want the team to get better. I want me to get better individually and um, just win the whole thing. Welcome back. We start with the second quarter, and for the goals for the season, there might be more him for him to do it for next year. For Giannis Antetokounmpo, but there might be more more rookie players that wanted to just join in the game if there is any changes for them. Maxi got a first steal. What a play on that one. He goes to Curry. What a play on that one. Maxi got a first assist here for tonight in game number five. Well played on that one. Maxi, Maxi's doing really well in this rookie year. Middleton against Korkmaz. And a steal by Tobias Harris. Embiid rolling over. To Maxi and Harris. Preble, Tobias Harris. Guys, Maxi, the second assist on this game five. Middleton driving in, rejected away for the rebounding off of Middleton. It's Joel Embiid, but now the takeaway is over on P.J. Tucker. In the corner, Middleton for three. No good. Joel Embiid did show up. 
Maxi will slow it down a bit. Curry, pass to Joel Embiid. Somebody had to stop Joel Embiid already. He's been too good. Maxi to Curry, five to shoot. Maxi, Embiid going deep. And that will not be enough as Curry couldn't able to save it all with his run. He couldn't find his way to get the, the, the deep three ball for Seth Curry to figure it out. But Stephen Curry was the only guy that makes a deep three from the line. So that's going to be tricky for them to score, unless if you have a nightful knowledge to jump it off with the foot. Maxi rolling over to Tobias Harris as P.J. Tucker following along with P.J. Tucker and he stepped out of bounds. It's a turnover to Milwaukee ball. Two players coming in for the Bucks and one player for Sixers as Danny Green checks in for Merkin Korkmaz. Merkin Korkmaz. Steven Chenzo is also checked in with, with uh, I don't know who's that, Forbes. Nope, not Forbes. Number two pointer here for Forbes. Maxi right to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris, Maxi right to Curry. Curry up again. Three balls. Steph Curry. First three pointer is on locked, and he is on through the next. Forbes trying to work her way around, looking over and Rebound again, and it's just Brook Lopez with the savings of the rebound. Maxi to Curry. Four or five left to go. It's 28 to 26 as the Sixers lead up by two. Curry trying to work her way out around a bit. And this will keep an eye on Sixer ball. Last touch on Forbes, it was hit by the knee. Now P.J. Tucker and Forbes are checked out as Drew Holiday and Anna Cooper are checked in. And then for the Sixers, Maxi and Curry will check out as Middleton and as Milton and Ben Simmons are checked in. Here's Green. Wait, we're on the wrong side, sorry. Ben Simmons! Oh, rejected by Brook Lopez! Want to play this one, and this is what that happens here in game number five. That's what they've done before. If there isn't any chance for them to just try to look over it again. First block for, for Brooke Lopez, taking it out for, from behind. Well, Danny Green has to take a timeout because, uh, because they need to find something else. Do, do another offense. They can't just leave it up on another one if they try to get it right. So it looks like let's try picking up another run. We're going to try to make a difference here. I'm going to pull up a Mavericks here. I'm going to need someone to get a play through here. And those guys need to find somebody here. You know what? I need, looks like I need uh, Tobias Harris to get there in through. I haven't seen the, the play through to get in the paint. Push the pace, um, let's keep the average up here. Let's try to limit it. Transition. And we wanna keep the we wanna keep the meat rebounds as as nice as possible here. Play physical, this is what we need to do. Let's try to time it right so nobody gets an off balance. Here we go. Short on that run, Tobias Harris was able to get the uh, point off, but it didn't work. Ida Kupo, three baller is good. He gets the first three pointer without being showing up in game four. Green, right to MB. MB, right to Milton. Back to MB. Double man surrounding us, green open. Free ball, Danny Green. First three-pointer of the night, Joel B with the assist. And coming in again, yeah, Adekupo really wants to spierce it tonight. He's looking forward again. And B, oh, he dunks it across the process. Has got his first dunk. 
Joel Embiid has knocked him down hard. 11 points for the game. Here's Anacupo. Pass to Holiday. And he's right around it to wrap it in front of him. Try to work around. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. Oh, a takeaway. That's Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons doesn't have a choice for him to keep an eye on for the three baller. He just decides to give it to somebody else. Green. Finding a switch here. Green off the ball. They got to get looking. MB with a two, and it's good. Go well, MB. 13 points and a hot start. Here's Steven Chento against Middleton. Two minutes. Two minutes in the first half. Steven Chento in the paint. He will take an eye on the glass look as he gets a number two. Timeout on the Sixers. With under, with under two minutes left. 35 to 33 is your score. We're looking really good, being comfortable on offense, but the little uh, little swept around is just getting a little bit un uncomfortable here. Let's get another change here, and I'm gonna need to try to try to push the base off a bit. That was a good play for here, but let's try let's try getting a series here to try to pick up a a flip push. The average we're gonna need to keep an eye on that. Only four turnovers on the Sixers and three turnovers on Milwaukee. One block only. Three steals is in between Sixers and Bucks. Ten assists, an even run. Eight rebounds for Sixers. Ten in the lead for the Bucks. Looking really comfortable out there. Nothing happening out there at that moment. And we got a new change here. 5-0 will check in. Also with George Hill for Ben Simmons as he's moved over to point four. Oh, it's last touch on DiVincenzo. It's six of all. They still have it alive already because uh, because the pass wasn't enough. He finds Simmons. Green. Kind of looking over already. Fiebel tries again. Oh, rebound by D.Y. Howard, and he got it back. D.Y. Howard's got his first bucket of the night. Two rebounds and, and only two points. Anacupo to Brook Lopez, and he has a drive. It's assist by Anacupo. Hill taking over on Green. Green. Sharing it off to Howard. Double man on him. Green in the corner. Three is no, not in the making. It's off the mark. Here's Middleton taking the two. He didn't hit that time. Holiday trying to work his way up. Two pointer and they tied it up. Brooke Lopez with the assist. And they have it on the running board to try to work their way on the run on again. And it's taken off. Brooke Lopez got a steal. And DiVincenzo, fast break. And a foul. Sixer foul. Go foul on the Sixers. That will be George Hill. I'm not kidding already. George Hill absolutely did it too early on the defense. But would have told Mike Budenholzer to watch Watch the back. That's for DiVincenzo. His first free throw is good. One more to go. He makes two. So the Milwaukee lead up by two. And here's George Hill. Only gave him a first foul on that one to pick it up. He finds the White Howard. Trying to book up steal here, but it doesn't work out that way. Simmons 
Zach couldn't hit the three. It was a little left off of an opening, opening run. But this wasn't his time if he wants to try to do it again. Simmons, five ball, open. Three ball, Matisse, five ball. He finally had it. Four attempts, not on the pressure. Out of Kupo. Oh, he just got himself to another look on the pointer. And he's just got himself under control. Hill with the beater. No good. That ends up with the first half. It's 41 to 40. The Sixers are having a hard time out there, but there might be more underway. Catch up with David on the sideline. Here you go. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops uh, and getting rebound and getting out of the you know, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, DA. We'll be right back with the fifth game of the second half. Please stand by. We're back again here in Philadelphia, and as the quarter has come to a start here for the third, we see Giannis on a Kupo. He's just like smoking out there right over Joel Embiid. And how well does he have to do? Not great, but he's a freak out. He's just doing a lot more than he's ever done before. Oops, uh, two assists, three rebounds, and 15 points. I can't believe that. You, you cannot tell that Giannis was just definitely not slowing down already. He's just working hard. How tall can you be? Well, the only bucket is that Giannis Adekupo can just shoot, and he's stepping his way up to be a legendary player if he had a chance for him to do it again. And as the shot comes to a miss for Danny Green, looks like Giannis might have to do it again. Do another dunk if you could try to do it. Alley-oop! And it's good and success. That will be Giannis Anacupo. 19 points. An assist will come by for Chris Middleton. Back pass to Jeff Curry. We have never seen that before. Danny Green inside. It's a great D on Chris Middleton. He finds Anacupo. You only have to play one minute on the court, and I had a Kupo! He's like leaving a game out there. He's just wanted to just go big. Curry fouled on Milwaukee. That'll be Chris Middleton's first foul. And only one team foul on Milwaukee. Seth Curry will go to the free throw line to shoot number two. Two shots at that point. Only 5.50 left to go, and they have to bring it back to step it up a bit if they get a chance to do it at the right timing. Curry makes the first throw. And that's not what you tell, not what you see him in, in, this, uh, in this part of the game. This is what you have seen in others as well. There might be more to get in your, under the cover. But there may not be a lot of them if there's a choice to keep an eye on. He has a second free throw as the Sixers are trailing by five in the runoff. Holiday against Ben Simmons. Holiday Kubo really wanted to do it again. Baez there showing it up. And a shot just got easy already. Holiday Kubo, 23 points. Beating up on Joel Embiid with the run. Here comes Joel Embiid. He finds Tobias Harris. What a wraparound he did. Joel Embiid receiving another assist. Tobias Harris got his. Got five points in the game. One, three, one, two. Hoder for Gerard A's good. They bring it up. 63% for the field goals. Only 53. Embiid. Oh, he just slammed it across. Joel Embiid. 15. He's coming back. Heads up. Because Joel Embiid is not stopping here. Oh. Almost, almost came out loose. D 
DiVincenzo against Curry. On a Cooper with the screen. And a good drive here for Dante DiVincenzo. Six points and they make it. Danny Green. Right over to Simmons. Back to the screen. Green looking for an open man out there. It's Tip and it's Brooke Lopez with the steal. Fast break, here we come. Middleton makes a three. Timeout on the Sixers. They're trailing by 10. And this one is just uh, not enough for them to just score big. Changing new defense, I mean, new offense. We're going to have to bring another player that can do better. Here are some new change ups here for the Bucks and for the Sixers. As Fiebel will check in for Danny Green. Three players are checked out. Anacupo moves over to the center. P.J. Tucker and Forbes checked in for DiVincenzo. And Drew Holiday is still, I mean, Chris Middleton staying on that, that one. Trying to make his way up a bit. Joel B rolling her up a bit. He makes it two. 17 points for Joel B. Crowd is still looking his way up. Their team is trailing by eight. On a Kubo, on a beat, oh, he gets, he gets loped out. He looped it out, and it says, MB, I'm going to finish it all for good. Five all can't hit the three, and he just bumps out from the bench. And it's MB with the block. But it's to be honest, trying to pick it back. And no help on defense would have made the spot better. And now defensive breakdown is on the Sixers. MB with the three, just short. He made an open one, but they're telling the team not to hit the three at the right moment. Holiday, out of bounds. Sixer ball. Only one that turned out to be one, and that was MB that tried to revenge himself. Here, here comes the ball. I'm, guess what? I'm back. That's what Joel Embiid was just saying. Now Milton. We're coming over to Embiid. Curry up. Free ball. Seth Curry. Number three pointer on number two. Holiday. Up against Curry, and Bede is on the Greek Freak. Here he goes, and we call the foul. It's Joel Embiid, his first, and he just got slapped up a bit. Not well enough at all. Yep, he went down. That's what happens, because this was not a good successful defense bit to hit the setup to do a block or heavy contest shot. Big break, big break. Two shots. You don't want to mess the Greek freak up already. This is what happens to all of the players who are keep messing up on Giannis Antetokounmpo. But he tells him to show them off. His first free throw is good. They pick it up by 10. They stop the clock at 2.32 here in the third quarter. Harder on the soft by, not even enough for him to go through. And then Yana Kupo hits the second free throw. They have it up by 11. Millen, up to Curry, at MB, around Portis, over again, and he dunks it across. No foul rejection up here, or the, or the offensive foul on Joel MB. Well play on that one. He has 19. If he picks it up again, 21, that'll be the number on the back. Girardi against Seth Curry. He was not able to face it out at that point. Two-pointer for Donna Krupo is up and, and a little carried out. We're under two minutes. Two minutes in the third period. Millen finding MB. Double man, pass to Millen. He goes up. Shots got it, and one for Shake Milton. P.J. Tucker receiving his first personal. That'll be the second team foul on Milwaukee. 
Now shake Milton. He will take it out of the line to shoot one. And a new two, and there is a new group here for the Sixers and for the Bucks. Here's D. Ray Howard. He will be picking up here in point forward. Joel Embiid still in the center. Milton delivers it. He has six points in the game in game five. But there's a chance for them to stop the player. But now their timeout call is on Milwaukee. 144 left to go in the third quarter. We're looking good out there. We're just trying to trying to come. We're trying to contemporary. The, uh, the, the hit on that run, if there's a chance for them to get back in the game. So well played for Joel Embiid, he's just not able to do it for a while. Let's re-energize it for again. Let's go ahead and bring back Tobias Harris. And I'm going to try to keep an eye on a 2-3 to three zone if there's a chance for me to do it. Make on the offense, and then pick and rolls here, we'll just try to go for George Hill. Yeah, that's the only option that is there. And now Embiid is checked out. And Tobias Harris is checked in. And also Millen is checked out as another one will check in as Danny Green. Uh oh, Green got the ball! What a steal here for the Sixers! Hill outside. Green, up, green ball, Danny Green! Tobias, oh wait, it's George Hill. George Hill, I'm sorry. George Hill! Second assist. Hustle on the side, steals for four. And a fast break, points 12. Hits, we have a liftoff free. D.Y. Howard takes the first block. The tie is good! A tease fly ball. They tied it up by 62 and under one minute to go here for the middle of the game. For itself in game five is Middleton. Middleton can't handle the two at that pressure as D.Y. Howard gets a rebound again. Danny Green in the other hand. He will take it from Howard. Hill on the outside. Hill, Harris, around Portis, and the shot's good. Harris got his first point in the lead, assist by Danny Green. Harris got seven, first time to make the lead in game five since 2000 and since last season. Oh, the putback! It's Bobby Portis taking that hit and it says, and he says, I'm coming for you. And he has the ball and he goes, whip, pump. And then went in the hoop. Tobias Harris right to Green, and this calls an offensive foul. It's on, going to be on D.Y. Howard, his second personal with the illegal screen. And Brooke Lopez will check in for Bobby Port, for B.J. Tucker. As Bobby Portis moves to point four. Only ten seconds left. Middle ten on Green. He's trying to work his way around, taking a lead, and it's up again! Burke Lopez with a re, re, uh, reversible layup. Hill, can he make it? Yes! Free ball, George Hill! And that ends the third quarter with a lead score, 67-66. What a play this has been. Only one quarter to go. We'll be right back after this one. We'll see who's going to win the game five. But you may not know what will happen. Stick around later. While we get started for the fourth quarter, let's check out the State Farm Assist of the game. And one thing for sure for game number five we're talking about is Maxi. He made a great assist here and just built up right on Curry. This is what he has done before for his last timing. But this is what he has done before. But he can take it from here. Maxi has done a very good job here for this game. But right now, he has to finish himself off with one quarter left. So right now, the Sixers have made a, made a lead, 67 to 66. Let's see if they can push it up here. Here's Hill making a shot. He has made another two-pointer here. 
Biggest lead was Milwaukee 12, lead changes was 12, 7 and a tie breaking. DiVincenzo, right on Curry, over on the trail. And it's rebounded by D.Y. Howard. Harris, right to Curry, with a three. It's off the mark. No three-pointers here for Curry as he has just leaned out. Drew Holiday trying to find a look. Load up. It's off the mark. Only the first quarter was paying out with the floater at that ball. Nice pass! Tobias Harris, he makes one and one! And that's going to be a foul on Milwaukee. Bobby Portis with his first personal. He has been, he has been knocked off entirely. Check out the game that he has just made. A great drive, great assist by D.Y. Howard. Looks like Doc Rivers is helping him out. It looks like the offense is working a better. It's working perfect. And the way Howard has receiving of his third assist here, I think. I'm not sure if I said it correct. Harris got 10 points in this game. And uh, I'm not sure. If, but let me just say a little bit. Let me just open it up. Three-pointer off the mark for Drew Holiday and Curry and Hill has the ball. Green in the wing, he passes off to Hill. Up and over again to Harris. On to Kupo and a double man defender here. Harris, it's up. Free ball, D.Y. Howard. Tobias Harris. He's got his, he's got his assist here. And his first three-pointer is on D.Y. Howard. The three-pointer is connecting. Drew Holiday is making history. He's trying to work his way up to the next spot if he wants to keep it going and add it alive. Now here's Hill. He bounce passes to Harris. Back to Howard. Howard right back to Hill. Howard rolling it over to Green. Five to shoot. Green up. So comfortable here for the, for the fourth quarter. Middleton is on Murray and out of Hoover takes the screen and this calls a reach on the Sixers. Tobias Harris with the second personal foul and Hill and Howard will have to check out. Simmons and Embiid are checked in. Drew Holiday, Middleton with three. Does it connect it? It's MB with the rebound again. MB receiving three rebounds in a row. Simmons, can he try to get that three? Well, he still doesn't have it. And that's the problem because if Ben Simmons, he only made two baskets and another two. Steven Chenzo on Curry. Pass off to Brooke Lopez. Oh, he just right screws it up the paint right for the rim. Tonight's point is only 10, so he's trying to work it and attack it. MB, right to Curry. Bounce pass to Green. Rolling over to Tobias Harris, he shoots up and he scores! Tobias Harris gets 12, but he has a number on the back. Number 12, there you go. Not for Joel Embiid, he's just trying to work for it. Timeout, Milwaukee. This will be under 342 to go here in this one. They're just trying to work it up. Let's keep the pressure alive, team. Here's our New Balance player of the game when we come back. New Balance player of the game is coming up later with only, uh, with only under uh, three minutes. So here we go. I made a new changes already. I have some green out and Sam Curry out, and I'm at Bible and Milton with the change. Milton up. Shake. Milton. Eight points in a row. Bible taking another assist. One play on the run. Defense. Defense. Value. Oh, what a play out there. Milton. 
Bennett is just keeping it alive. And Giannis Adikupo has just made another slam out there. Simmons keeping an eye on him. That's a Milwaukee foul called on Drew Holiday. He has just knocked out and he is he has already finished the streaking. Now he has the foul, everyone is giving a foul. Ben Simmons have only one shot remaining. Let's see if he can pick it up. And he makes one in. Ben Simmons carrying out seven points in the game. In game five. Well played on that run, and as he made one just just a better player than he never does it before. Holiday cutting in. Rebound is on Joel B, number five. Drew Holiday only made nine points in this game, but this is what never happens if there's a chance for him to score a big run. MB losing the ball. Five ball taking it on Middleton. Takes a two. Does not need it at that point. Mafayful has got eight points on the run. Giannis on the Kupo. He's just trying to attack again. And he's losing out of focus already because the man was getting behind him. Richard Fowles is on the Sixers. That'll be number two. Shake Milton is first. On the Kupo for two. That's going to be a good one. Assist by D. Best player again, Chris Middleton. Two minutes, two minutes in the fourth period. Milton taking over MB. He goes back to Milton. He's trying to look over again. MB taking deep. Rebound by Matisse Fleibel. One play on that run, only got a first rebound here. got the ball, he's going back the other way, two-pointer is connecting it in, timeout on the Sixers. And Middleton is just working his way up, he just wants to bring it to the test. Right now it looks like, uh, looks like the bias Harris is losing it, I'm going to go ahead and try bringing Mike Scott in and see if he can try it alone. He's never done it before, so we'll, we'll, just give him a, we'll just give him a try. Now we're making a switch up here. Just okay, but uh, just the average, just a little bit of limit. Oh yeah, update. 21 assists here for the Bucks, 25 assists for the Sixers, 20 rebounds, 21 rebounds in the lead for Bucks, 6 steals on the Bucks, 4 steals on Sixers, only 8 turnovers on the Sixers. Well, that's going to be a big problem. And 5 turnovers, just least. 1 block only, and 2 blocks leaving behind for the Sixers. Time to present the New Balance player of the game. For game 5, it goes to the process of Joel Embiid. I don't know what to say for him, but Joel Embiid is the only nominated player that he is just working his way up. Looks like the process is being so. This is my life. And what career I can do, like, like Allen Iverson, he wants to see me. I'll do better and I'll show him what I have. This is my career that I face with my with my team. Curry up. Missed the three-pointer. It's rebounded by Giannis out of the Kupo. Divincento taking the two-on-one. Somehow it's out of the Kupo with the rebound. He goes up. Oh, it's Curry! And he got a piece of it. He might have it as one. Ed Simmons right to Mike Scott. He will take a try if he can do one. Scott rolling over to Green. With one minute left to play in the fourth. Simmons up. And yeah. There was no luck for three-pointer of the night. Green. Right to Drew Holiday. Screen on Brooke Lopez. He cuts. 
He doesn't hit that one as he misses another one to take. D.Y. Howard, seven rebounds in a row, and he has just spaced out of it. Simmons kicks it off to Howard. And he goes right over. Scott, good try, but this will not be in time for him to give it a try. Divincenzo on the Kubo. Misses three. Another rebound here on D.Y. Howard. And that will do it, my friend. That will be it. The final score for tonight is 86 to 77 of Game 5. The Sixers have mixed its lead of the team. The number one team is just making its way to head to the finals if they can win it again. And now we're going to the court side to David Aldridge. David, what do you have here? Thank you, Kevin, with Danny Green. And Danny, you know how good a shooter you are, obviously, but you have really incorporated defense into your game. And how important is it for you to show up at that end? Uh, very important. I mean, it helps the team a lot. My job really is coming in and bring defense and uh, you know, a lot of energy. Well, mission accomplished for you tonight, Danny. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, D.A. Thanks for watching for the fifth game of the Sixers vs. the Bucks of the Eastern Conference Finals. We'll see what happens again if there's game six to bring out a win or tie series to force game seven of Milwaukee Bucks. Well, that's going to do it, folks. As we're being said, peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA Eastern Conference dial. So that's just about it. Hope everything is turning out that well. We hope to see which team can face the win in the finals of the game. So long, my friends of Beverly Love, Philadelphia. We'll catch you guys next time. You probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, y'all probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hating. And y'all yearn for rooms is gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.